what you do and praise what you do. Stand to your, stand to your feet and praise the Lord like you mean it. And praise is what you do. Stand to your feet and praise the Lord like you mean it. I said I'm a praise. Joy is not based on good health. 
or popularity. Amen. Uh, I, I wonder uh, how do you get joy? You get joy by believing in God. Somebody say believing in God. Believing in God. Yes. All right now. Don't get me started. How do we get joy? Believing in God. And one day we do what? Drop the bleed. We drop the bleed and we go. Oh my God. Y'all, 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 y'all know what y'all talking about. We get joy by believing in God. And one day we drop the belief and we go in. Praise the Lord. We get joy by believing in God. And obeying his will. What is God's will? God's will is whatever has happened. Is God perfect will? God permissive will? And, and Pastor did a great teaching on that once upon a time, but I'm going to tell you what God permits the will of anything He permits. Amen. And if God permitted it, it's perfect for what it's perfect for what you need to get back to Him. Yes, Lord. I can't make it no simpler. Can I make it any simpler than that? So what we're doing is we're, we're arguing and we're upset with God has permitted in our life, which is His permissive will. And the only way we can get to His perfect will when we don't argue about his permissive will and you look crazy anyway because you cannot change what he's already permitted. You get you, you look crazy. And, and, and it says and, and, then, and then we gotta understand that that believing in God, obeying his will, receiving his forgiveness, participating in fellowship with other believers, ministers, ministering to others, and sharing the gospel Believers will experience joy. Amen. Gospel. Somebody say, Bishop, what is gospel? What is gospel? What is gospel? What is gospel? Your chance to go spell God. I'm not. Gospel is your chance to go spell God. That's all Jesus did. He came and he spelled God in the way he loved. He came and he spelled God in the way he forgave. He came, he forgave, but spelled God in the way he was forbearing. He came and he spelled God in the way he trusted God. He came and he spelled God. God spelled, go spell. I need some spellers up in him. I need some spellers up in him. And, 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 and I don't need no, uh, bitch, I, I, I see somebody right there. I know how to spell God. I know how to spell God. You know how to spell cat too. Spelling it without living it means nothing. I don't expect you to live like a cat, so you can spell that without living it, but I expect you to live like God and then spell it to me. Go spell your chance to go spell God, and when you go spell God, other believers will experience the joy they never knew were possible. Unspeakable joy. When we um, talk about these two words, joy is, we know what joy is. Come on, Spirit of Jesus. What is joy to us? Come on. Jesus on you. Jesus on you. Yes. Now, you got to understand, God say, anything you ask for, uh, when people tell me that, they, they come back and they tell me, he, he said, I'll give it to you. He never said that. Because God gives you nothing. If you notice, he said, every time God says he gives you something, he don't expect it back, he don't expect nothing for it because he said it's a gift. Never did he say, if you ask me for something, I'll give it to you. And that's, that's why y'all are so missed out of line with God because when you ask him for something, you're expecting him to give you something. He never said he'd give you anything. What he said in that scripture was, when you ask me for something, I will do it. There's a difference in him doing something and giving you something. See, 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 when he when he does something, he prepares you for the gift. Come on, home, come on, Holy Ghost. See, see, when we get a gift that, that we have not been prepared for, we, we, we treat it any kind of way. Come on, somebody. Uh, I, my, my daughter is a gift to me, and, and because I thought she was given to me, I feel like I have the right to tell her what to do. But no, no, no. She was a gift from God. Come on, somebody. Uh, this church was not given to me. It was a gift. So look at what, how I treat it. Say, I, I feel about the giver of the gift. Uh, 
My uh, lovely wife is a gift to me, and how uh, my wife says how I feel about the giver of the. So what I'm trying to tell you right now, God never said He'd give you anything. Yes, Lord. So y'all stop lying on what? But the Lord told me to claim name and claim it. He didn't never tell you that. He said I told you I would do it. Amen. Never did He say He would give you anything. But a man robbed God. Yes. When I treat the gift as if there's nothing, I rob God. I'm joy. So we know joy is Jesus on me. Now God gave me a he gave me a jacket. Here, 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 here. Get ready. Put, get, do this, do this. Do this, honey. Do this. Y'all know. Y'all know I, I'm, 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 I'm doing this because uh, I lost I, I lost my stones a little bit. And I put on black so I can look real thin. <laughs> so, 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 I, so, 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 I, I, I got to hurry get that coat back because I can't hold my breath for so long. <laughs> so, so now, now, now here she is. She has something for me to wear. She has something for me to wear. She says, baby, here's a coat. Come on, give me. Say, baby, here's a coat. Baby, here's a coat. I don't want to look So I grab a coat. Yeah. And that's what we do with what people give us. Amen. You don't believe it? Yeah. Give your little 18 year old car. And don't let them have no vested in it. And watch how they throw it around and don't take care of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Huh? But now, 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 now him. Now, 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 say, baby, here's something Jesus gave me for you to wrap up in. Oh my God. Jesus really gave you this for me? For real? Yeah. Um, you ain't buy? No. He didn't go, didn't go, he, he, how, he, he, how much you got to pay for it? Nothing. Well, what was it? It was a, was it a him? Oh. Now, now ask me, say, say, Bishop, can I have, can I have that coat? Say, Bishop, can I have a coat? Jesus gave me this. Amen. I got on my Jesus coat. Right. Take me back to my sermon that I ain't taking on my, my, my coat for nobody. Yes. Take me back to the sermon I ain't taking on my Jesus for nobody. Come on, somebody. Because yes. this, this ain't just no coat. This is the coat that Jesus gave me. Amen. Now we're going back to the ATO. Well, maybe the car note is two hundred and forty dollars a month. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna pay the one forty. And you're going to pay the 100. But the first time you don't pay the 100, that's my car. <laughs> Y'all see this now? Guess what? They're going to pay the 100, and because they're spending their money in and paying for the car, they're going to take better. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's right. right. So now I got, on my, I got on my gift from God. And your gift from God is life because Jesus died. So sin don't take your life. Your gift from God is that Jesus died so the sin won't have power over your life anymore. And if Jesus died so now that anybody's counting your sin, you know they don't believe in him or, or, or they don't follow God. Come on, somebody. Amen. See, because if you really believe in Jesus, you know that you can't talk about my sin because my sins don't matter to Jesus or God. Come on, somebody. Uh, so now, sin is an indicator of who you are to me because I can tell who you are to me when you count my sins and not my blessings. Are you a blessing count? Or a sin count? So I'm trying to help somebody because now, now that you got your Jesus on, don't let nobody speak it off you. Come on, somebody. Amen.
Because God sent, sent a dove down that ascended on him, and, and, and why he didn't send a cat, a dog, a, 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 a rabbit. Do y'all know, I, I thought rabbits hunt. No, 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 no. I thought rabbits hunt. I went out, I went out the other night about 1.30 taking KK little dog out, and I said, he was out there, and I said, let me take, let me take bro out. And now, you know, he done got grown, he one year old now, so he about to go outside without running away. So I, we take him outside, and, and he'll, he'll walk down and he'll come back. But I took him outside the other night, about one thirty, being Richard. And when I took him outside, you know, I live in one of them neighborhoods where, where rabbits, they don't kill him to eat him yet. <laughs> So I took him outside by one, one o'clock in the morning. I didn't come back in the house at 2 15 because I had to look for him because he was chasing the rabbit. <laughs> I, I, I'm walking and I'm walking and looking at him. I ain't got no more leaks in that. All of a sudden, that's a boom. That's when I said, you know what? Can't no rabbit hop that fast. He got to be running. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I found out that rabbit, I came, I came back and go for a later. I said, first lady, that's what I found out. I said, what? I said, rabbits run. She said, how do you know? I said, because I had to chase yen for chasing a rabbit. <laughs> oh, boy. And he did it at an unspeakable hour. <laughs> and here I am. Y'all know I live in a kind of mixed neighborhood. And, 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 and when I say mixed, there's very few of us. Here I am. He ran, he ran between the house. I said, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Because I know the Trump supporter. around the neighborhood at 2 o'clock in the morning, y'all bishop, in my house, go tell me, yeah, 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 about 35 minutes later, he over by this man pool just <laughs> laughing at me. Somebody speaking somebody under, I, 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 I understand that, yeah, I'm going to go under. 
come up, I'm going to volunteer. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, Lord. When you volunteer to go into the army, you look like a fool except you're doing it in the name of your country. Now, when you go under for somebody else to lift them up, you're doing it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Uh, if I do that for my country, why won't I do that for Jesus? Jesus. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Jesus' life ended at 33, and it ended at 33 for you and me to continue the life that he started right here uh -huh. on this earth. See, he, he, he's, the, he's the finisher. He's the in-between guy. God is the God is the beginner. Uh-huh. He's the end. Yes, yes. And if I hook up with Jesus, I won't have no problem with my in-between. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. the, problem, the reason you got a problem with your yes, in-between yes. because, because you, you, you don't understand the end. You don't understand the beginning because you ain't hooked up with your in-between. I'm gonna preach that one day. You better hook up with your in-between. Uh -huh. You better hook up. With your in between, in between, unspeakable. Uh, when I hear unspeakable, it tells me that uh, what I want, my sister. If I can speak it, if I can speak it, I don't need God. I told you this morning. When God starts something in your life, uh -huh. and He tells you He's gonna give you something, He has to make it better than you expect, and that takes. That takes time. And what I, I need you to understand something. In order to, in order to process this time, you, you, gotta, you gotta go to Pastor Lisa and say, Pastor Lisa, to, 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 how do I process this time that God says he needs? And I process this time by going to Pastor Lisa and say, Pastor Lisa, if I got love, what do I need to validate love? She's gonna tell me I, I need joy. If I got joy, what do I need to validate joy? She's gonna tell me I need peace. If I got peace, what do I need to validate peace? She's gonna tell me I need long suffering and patience. I'm, 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 I'm. If I got long suffering and patience, how do I validate that she's gonna tell me I need some kindness? Uh, and if I got kindness, she's gonna tell me to validate kindness, I'm gonna need some goodness. Amen. And to validate the goodness, I'm going to need some faithfulness. Yes, Lord. To, to validate the faithfulness. Yes, I'm going to need somebody to need some joy. Yes, yes. To validate love, I need joy. Uh -huh. To validate joy, I need peace. To validate peace, I need patience. Mm -hmm. To validate patience, I need kindness. To validate kindness, I need goodness. Oh, to validate goodness, I need faithfulness. Love ain't faithfulness. I need your gentleness. And you can't do none of that. Without temper. Y'all, y'all, I don't want to say self-control, because that means you think you control yourself. Now control your temper! Uh-huh. Oh, no. uh -oh. All the rest of that means nothing if you got a temper. Yes, I love you, but I can't stand what you got in me. Keep your damn love. Keep it. I got you. You make me so happy today. But what you did two years ago, keep that joy. I don't need that kind of joy. Remind me of what I can't do instead of what God is doing. Unspeakable joy. I need a peace that surpasses all understanding. I need you. I've been crying for years on your shoulder. And I thank God that you didn't answer my cry. I thank God you didn't wipe my tear. Because if you would answer my cry and wipe every tear, I would never find Jesus who, who I am dear to. I thank God that there was a time that you said no. I thank God that there was a time that, that I looked at you and I wanted you to give me what I wanted and God wouldn't let you. I thank God for that today. Because if you had given me everything I needed, I would have found Jesus. I would have turned you into my Savior. And turn you into my Savior, that means the joy that I have will be like the world before I met Jesus. A joy that comes and goes like a roller coaster. Up uh, the day, down tomorrow. Yeah. All because I got hooked up with a man. Yeah, yeah. All because I got hooked up with a woman. Yeah. Uh -huh. All because I got hooked up with humanity. Yeah. All because I got hooked up with what I shouldn't have been hooked up with. Never, never did God send me to this world to die. Yeah. Yeah. You got to understand what God's original plan for man was. God wants man and spirit to live forever, ever together right here on earth. 
the man brought pain into the game and he separates it. The two must be separated. Because man don't know God well enough not to listen to what it sees. So I must separate humanity from the spirit in which they don't know that they came from. Jesus was born of spirit and flesh. Can I help you out? You, you are mankind, am I right? Uh, you are the sinner of Adam, am I right? Now, where did Adam come from? No, he didn't. He was first created in the spirit. So Jesus told us when he came in spirit and flesh, this is who you are. Even though it looks to you because you're, you're bound by what you see that you came from flesh and flesh. If you are the son of Adam, you came from spirit and earth. Amen. And earth ain't, and flesh ain't nothing but an accumulation of dust Amen. that turned the dirt that God used to create flesh. Earth ain't nothing but an accumulation of dust that turned the dirt that he, that he used to create, to form, not create, but to form flesh. We all right? Yeah. So now, now, what I need you to understand is we, uh -huh. Jesus came and showed us that we were spirit-based. He came and showed us that the flesh might die, but the spirit lives on. Hello, somebody. Amen. And when the spirit lives on, it don't matter. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Right. It don't matter what you look like. Because when Jesus came back, they didn't recognize him. Uh -huh. Amen. Come on now. Amen. But they recognized his spirit. Come on, somebody. Amen. In other words, what they told me was, it don't matter how you look. I mean, what, what, what says how you look is what you do. It don't matter what you do as long as your spirit is in God. Amen. Yes, sir. They didn't recognize him. The two men were walking down the street, and, 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 and they say they walked with him for hours. And then when they got to the place, and they, they, they and he was asking, they said, "Where you been? You don't know what has happened. You don't know what happened to the to Jesus." Da 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 da. And then when they got to the place, and they still didn't know who he was, but when he broke the bread, they said, "Oh my God, it's him." Amen. When he broke the spread bread, he broke it in the valley. That says, I'm not breaking this to feed the flesh. Come on, somebody. Amen. See, y'all y'all break bread to feed the flesh instead of breaking bread to feed somebody's spirit. Amen. See, when you when you when you get to this place and, and, we, and we go to, we go to look at it as unspeakable joy, uh, uh, when I start, when I get joy, I know joy. Uh -huh. Hit this now. When I know joy, I don't know your misery. Come on, somebody. Amen. When I know joy, I don't know your sin. Come on, somebody. Amen. When I know joy, I don't know your agony. Come on, somebody. Uh, and when I know your joy, I don't count your shortcomings. Come on, somebody. When I know joy, I count your upcoming. Come on, somebody. Uh, when I know joy, I know you're coming up even though you don't know you're coming up. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. When I know joy. Amen. Come on, Bishop. Yes. I got joy. Yes. Yeah. When I think about you. Yes. What he's done for me. I got joy when I think about what he's done for me. I got joy when I think about what he's done for me. You scratch my car, I'll beat you. <laughs> and God let them scratch your car to show you that your joy wasn't real. You got joy as long as they don't mess with your stuff. You got joy as long as they don't mess with your stuff. You got joy, 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 as long as they don't mess with your... Come on, Bishop. Keep your joy. Because your stuff means more than your joy. He says you love, you love him even though you've never seen him. I know you love Jesus, but it's a shame to love Jesus and not knowing how to love him. Amen. How do you love Jesus? Amen. How do you dare call on Jesus and beat him with your sins? I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, I, I, I love myself with Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, you died for me. But you're praying about somebody else's husband. Jesus, you're mad for me, but you're praying about somebody else's husband. 
everybody else wife. Jesus, you can die for me, but you're talking about your brothers and sisters. But, but, but you love Jesus. Unspeakable joy. If you got joy, stop putting people under and speak joy when they expect you to speak damnation. I don't know about y'all. I really don't know about y'all. But I'm tired of people breaking down because of other people. Amen. God said you should, God said, unless I bring you home before seven, because I promise you, three scores and ten, unless I bring you home before seven, you ain't got no business breaking down. Amen. You ain't no forward. God created you. Y'all running around here like y'all Ford. Fix and repair daily. <laughs> Fix our repair daily. Y'all ain't no Ford. <laughs> Fix our repair. You ain't no Ford, baby. <laughs> You're created in the image of God. <laughs> I know who I am. Oh, I know who I am. But you're damn it, somebody else. Uh -huh. The only reason you can do it. Y'all know what I like to say, and I say it all the time. You, you, you only give what's in you. Uh -huh. yeah. I got damnation for you because I don't want to take a damnation I call myself. Amen. But you just, when you understand what this joy is, this unspeakable joy, you understand whatever I have spoken, I didn't speak it. God spoke it, whether it was good or bad, God spoke it. How did I know God spoke it? You wouldn't have no vocal cord to speak it. What the fuck? You make your you make your own self talk. I'm just making this real plain for you. Amen. Everything that you have the ability to walk, God gave it to you. Everything that you have the ability to hear, God gave it to you. Everything you have the ability to smell, God gave it to you. So now all of a sudden, you think what you say is your idea? No, no. Be careful, God shut you shut it up.
Every time I take a breath, I don't have to worry about no poison being in it because of him. Amen. Amen. Every time you take a breath, you live through the positive carbon monoxide, the positive stuff, things that are in the air. Because God said, I will filtrate them because y'all don't filtrate all the things in the air. Is it your lungs? Is it, is it, is it your, your body parts? Oh, no, that God put those body parts in there to make sure Adam bothered you because he loves you. Amen. It was love, baby. Sure, true. That's all. Unspeakable reception all right. of what God has for you. And then you act like you don't have the same thing for somebody else. Amen. All right. Come on. Come on. Amen. Just like you got on Jesus. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Everybody else got on Jesus because he didn't just die for you and yours. He died for yours and them. Uh -huh. So as we hear this, it says, you trust him and you rejoice. And then the scripture say, once you rejoice, that's where you're supposed to recycle. Uh -huh. And it said, and I say again, rejoice. Amen. So what I'm doing, I'm recycling my rejoicing. When I recycle my rejoicing, I never have room not to have joy. And see, joy ain't no good for me. Joy is, is, is operates best when I have joy for you. Come on, somebody. And joy operates best when all you got for me is joy. But we want to do is praise the Lord with our joy. No, you praise the Lord with joy for somebody else. Amen, man. To learn how to praise God Amen. for you. Amen. I got joy. I can't give up on you. Y'all yeah. really think it's a game. Y'all well, really don't think. Motivate me. Motivate me. If I had a, if I had a pen, Amen. for every time I call a member and ask them to come to church for their sake. Mm. Uh -huh. Come on, God. Oh. Not, not, not a dollar. Not not a dollar. If I had a pick, I, I mean, if I had a hundred dollars today for everybody I call and how many times I said come to church. Right now I have I have about, I have about two hundred thousand dollars. Good. All right. Amen. I call one person, I gotta ask them twenty times. Amen. Call another person, I gotta ask them thirty times. <laughs> all in one, all in a thirty minute period today. Amen. And I don't want your money. I want you to know the joy of God. Yes, yes. I want you to know the hell that you're going through. You're putting yourself through it because you, you're not taking a veil, a veil of heaven while it's right here with you. Uh -huh. Available to you. I got this going on. I got that going on. You got to first learn the peace of heaven and the peace of heaven is in him because in him your, your bills don't matter. And here your, your health issues don't matter. And here you ain't worried about nothing because you know what? You feel the joy of the Lord. And the joy of the Lord, you feel Jesus everywhere. You feel Jesus, your body, my, my shoulder, no uh, ache. when I come to church, it don't ache because I know I got on Jesus. You know what I mean? Amen. Yeah. I yeah. want yeah. you to know the unspeakable joy that God has for you. Not later. Oh I want you to feel the unspeakable joy that God says He has in heaven that is available to you right now. Yeah. I need you to feel that for me. I need somebody to say, Bishop, um, do, do, do I need to call you in the morning and remind you to come to church? Uh, yeah, yeah. That happened a few times. I've only got one call. When I wasn't here, I might have been here. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Will you give back what you receive? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get joy to give. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. And when you get joy, when you get joy, you get joy. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you know what happened? That thing fell too, did it fall two times? Huh? That's somebody telling you. You got joy, but you, 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 you ain't positioning yourself to receive the joy from others. Cause you like me. You think you're supposed to feed them, but you not be fed. So God said, let them be, let them feed you. Yeah, yeah. Let them give you some joy. Yeah, yeah. Y'all heard, 
If y'all heard how God broke me down the other day, my God. He did he? Mm. You ain't gotta be smiling over there, because you my joy. <laughs> but I want to tell you this. Unspeakable joy. When people preach that, they, they, they preach good times. They preach wonderful things. Amen. Unspeakable joy is knowing that his love won't leave you. Knowing that your love won't leave you. Unspeakable joy. I shouldn't have to tell you I love you for you to know I love you. Unspeakable joy. Amen. Well, some of y'all, I question, I call you because I need to talk to somebody. Somebody who's going to look me in my eyes and, 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 and know that what I'm saying, I plead because you don't see me coming here and clean the bathroom. When, 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 and you say, Bishop, no, I got that. I said, no, let me humble myself. Let me wipe the toilet. Amen, amen. You don't see me coming here and sweep the floor. No, let me humble myself. Let me sweep the floor. Uh-huh. Talk, Bishop. Let him know that joy is not in a title. Joy is not in a person. Joy is in Jesus. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hallelujah. I didn't find out that Jesus loved me because he told me. I found out that Jesus loved me because he died for me. Yeah. Yeah. Unspeakable joy. I'm yeah. tired of you telling me one thing and your spirit said a whole no. Unspeakable yeah. joy. Let your spirit start talking. Showing yourself totally. And no, uh, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. When the spirit start talking, there's a scripture that says, "Study to be quiet." <laughs> there's a scripture that says, "Be quick to listen and slow to speak." Amen. But I'm talking about the spirit. Let the spirit talk. No, the spirit talk. You got to shut up. Uh -huh. You got to stop lying to me. You got to stop telling me what I want to hear and doing something different. Oh, Come on, I told that lady, if I could get the people that I call on Wednesday, uh -huh. then I call some on Thursday. Thank uh -huh. you for making a few calls. Then I call some yesterday. Uh -huh. If I can get just half of the people that I call, I call members that, they don't, that don't, don't even come to the church, I still call them. Uh -huh. If I could get them to not tell me what I want to hear uh -huh. and do what they say and know they sin under God, we have to pull each other up. And then, and then, guess what happened? Then, when I call them on the day of, Bishop, when I call them on the day of, they, why you ain't called me yesterday? I need unspeakable joy. The joy that you have given unto you by God for God, yes. not for me. Yes. Don't come to church. Don't come to church for Bishop. Yes. It's time for you to start speaking what I say. Uh -huh. It's time for you to walk through those doors without Bishop wondering who's going to be there. Right. Sister Latasha, I ain't got to think about it. Pastor Lisa, I ain't got to think about it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And today, I like to be able to say that. Today, Minister Moore, I ain't got to think about it. This is the unspeakable joy that God said, show him. Amen. Guess what? He said, I, guess what? You can talk to your bloom. Uh -huh. God ain't hear nothing you saying because he knows your words mean nothing or they mean something. But God says, show me. That's how you talk to me. Because when I talk to you, I show you. I say, let there be light in your life. And there was light. I say, let there be peace in your life. And there was peace. God never lied to us. Amen. Amen. That's it. Unspeakable joy. Yes. Bring it to life. Bring that joy of God that you have in your heart. A part of you, the reason you're so miserable is because the, the spirit in which you came from is dying without God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spirit inside of you that knows where it came yeah. from. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And, then, and Jesus came and pricked that spirit. Yeah. And then when he pricked that spirit, it, uh, it leaked. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I heard it say it leaked in the moon. It leaked in the moon. And when he pricked that spirit, that joy leaked. Yeah. And you didn't care. Yeah. 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 Unspeakable joy. Stop speaking. 
you then. Yes, Lord. All right. It's a shame. Amen. They'll buy $280 for a pair of sneakers. They'll buy a jacket for $190. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll buy some slides. I went to buy some slides and they said $75 Amen. for slides. And they had Nike on it. And then they said, Nike, why I talk so much? And then Nike spoke to me. He said, just do it and I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you will listen to Nike and buy that foolishness, but you won't listen to God and show him the joy that he gave you. Yeah. 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 300 pairs of Nike, Nike said, just do it. <laughs> 200 pairs, 200 dollar jacket. Nike, just do it. that I can say things and be happy. Happiness comes and goes. Joy is ever unspeak. Stop talking about it. Stop saying it. I, I, I hear them, Pastor. They were, they, were, they were ready to jump over the fireplace with them. But what God was going to give them. First of the year, unspeakable joy, he could come up here and give me one of them prosperity sermons. You are prosperous already. The day he gave you life, you are prosperous. But your currency is in, do I, can I, I'm five minutes, y'all give me that, five minutes. Your currency is in living rather than life. I'm concerned about how I live. But like I've been telling y'all, every day I wake up with Jesus, there's no eternal living, baby. That's what's wrong with you. There's eternal life. God gave you life to live. He didn't make you live to have life. Uh -huh. All right. All right. And so when you honor that life, you have, you don't talk about the joy. You don't even think about it. See how the brother right now? All he could say one time was predicate, 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 predicate. But now he's in an unspeakable place where he can walk in here and you can't turn his joy off. Y'all laugh at him. Y'all laugh at him. He don't care because he can't, he can't unspeak his joy. Come on, somebody. Y'all talk about him. He don't care because y'all can't unspeak his joy. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all from the church, y'all y'all see somebody y'all don't like it, you let them unspeak your joy. I ain't coming back over there she can see their unspeakable joy. You let them unspeak you right out of heaven. Because the minute you say you ain't going to do something for somebody else, you have to deal with them. And God's going to ask you what you did for them instead of condemn them. And you have let them speak you right out of heaven. Stop worrying about failing and living. When you start knowing that God is a life giver, and God said he gifted us with life, Amen. don't let the devil continue to tell you that he's going to take it from you. Amen. As I have taught you, the next time the devil tell you that God is going to kill you and he's going to take it from you, you ask him why you still live. You ask him why you still live. If God is going to kill anybody, he'll kill you before he kills me. Anybody talking about you ain't, and ain't ever ain't, 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 ain't trying to resurrect you like Jesus? Because the Bible told me that when Jesus was resurrected, I was resurrected. And anybody ain't, ain't confirming that resurrection is, 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 is a stupid or a, a subject of Satan. Because my thing is, if Satan let if God let him live, how you gonna convince me, Satan? Yes, Lord. Wow. Amen. Resurrection. It ain't gonna live. Come on now. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. If you will go to John 17 and 30.
13, praise God, it says, now I am coming to you, amen. Yes, now that you have went forth and you did this expressible joy, amen, he said, now I'm coming to you. I told said. them many things while I was with them in this world so they would be filled with my joy. Yes. How do you know you feel with that expressible joy? How do I know I have that unconditional joy when nobody has to call my phone and tell me to come to church? Yes. When nobody has to tell me to show up and show out for God? Yes. When nobody has to tell me to get my praise on yes. or because my bill got paid or I got a stimulus check or I get COVID-19? Hallelujah, somebody. I can already go ahead and have my unspeakable joy. Oh, 
Do you? And I can even put 87 in my car. I'm still going to get replaced. Do you? See, y'all want to hold on to that unspeakable joy. You want to get filled up. Jesus, give me your all. Jesus, do everything for me. Jesus, I need you to be my, I need you to be all my all in all. Jesus, I need, I need, I need. Come on, man. Come on. Jesus, come on now. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do you to. I run out of you and find somebody else to do. <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm you. Gonna I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do you until I run out of you to find I somebody else. To you. Do. Huh? Unspeakable joy. I'm, I'm you know what? I want my bishop to be at peace. Yes, sir. I want my pastor to be at peace. Yes. Come on. I want my pastor bishop to know that he done drove all the way from Orlando for me, and I'm gonna be right there for him. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Give it to me for me to be. 
be motivated, but my joy to be motivated. Come on, speak it. Uh, speak for joy. Just do it, man. I'm talking about just do it. I can't even I'm telling y'all do not call me. I y'all don't call me because I'll know what y'all gonna get if y'all call me. I mean, y'all know, I promise y'all, y'all don't want to take that ride with me because I, I do not, I don't make it pretty for you. Because you can keep coming in, you said you can give me the butt, cause butt, cause butt, 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 you give me all your butts, but it's just this, and it's just that, and I just, it's just God. Yeah, that's right. You will, I promise you, you will do this life, you will live, you will have life so much easier if you yeah, just let yeah, go. Yeah. Stop trying to figure it out. And stop trying to have people figure it out for you. Amen. Let's go. This is a grown man. This man got five children. Got what? Five children, 13 grandchildren, and two great grandchildren. Amen. And a whole church. And a whole church. And a whole business. Put waiting on this man. Yeah, Amen. 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 I ain't gonna hold you all for long. Give God a hand clap for that word of man. I'm pushing y'all tomorrow. I got a word for y'all tomorrow, man. Yeah. Yeah. Unspeakable joy. Joy that doesn't even speak, but it just does. Joy that doesn't Amen. speak, it just do. Amen. Go beyond yourselves, man. Amen. This man got unspeakable joy. He he coming, he going, he driving. This man yeah. got unspeakable joy. He yeah. coming to church, they wax the clothes and clean the clothes and spray the chairs and doing all this. They do all, these two women got unspeakable joy. They stand out the church counting your envelope money and making sure you get your contribution done. Yeah. All, they do all these things. Yeah, let's spread these chairs. Every yeah. week y'all leave. They have to yeah. take these. If you ride by, you'll see all these church chairs out there in that sun getting sprayed out. Wow. Nobody's thinking about that. That's, that's, a, that's joy that don't even speak because they love that church. They love that God. They love Jesus. It ain't even about to be official, but it's just that they just love God. Because you love God. Amen. Showing up, just showing up because you just love God. Yes. I said, Mr. Bishop. Reason to it of reason not to. And I said, stop going to church. I said, stop going to church. Can I say that? I said, I'm telling you, stop going to church, but come to God. Amen. Don't go to church no more. Because some of y'all come playing church. Yeah. Or you come in here and see your opportunity to be begging. Amen. They got your hands out. Instead of wanting to deposit, you just want to withdraw. Amen. Amen. Oh, I see Sister Money Bucks the other day. Let me hit her in the parking lot. Or in the fellowship hall at the back before she get out of the bathroom real good. Person, see if she can't even get to the bathroom good, y'all standing at the door. We spent so tap just waiting. Unspeakable joy. I love you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Let's get ready to get out of here. I worship Amen. 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 Amen.